Hey there, this is Timmy's Jar, and uh, I got a topic for us to talk about. And it's as it's the video title says, the feminization of video games. What do I mean by that? Well, I have saw one of the creators recently pull out a, a different wording to it, pussification. But I will disagree with that terminology a lot, because it's a bit uh, insulting. What I would say, the feminization, why specifically that, is because... I would like you to t pay attention to today's video games and today's uh, people who create video games as well with today's audience. Uh, we'll start from um, the games themselves. Uh, right in front of you is Dustborn, something like that. I looked at the trailer, I looked at the gameplay, checked the Steam community and in Steam community I mostly saw hate towards these people who like this or made this. In the reviews, mostly hate, together with the developers of this game. I looked at them as well. They don't look like they really had anything to say apart, I'm gay and I like it. They literally had only that to say with their visual appeal towards me as I looked through their profiles on the internet. As well, how they worked and the art design of the game. It's... You see... When you're making games, it's all about art, music, and how you deliver the writing. Writing sucks, rest of the game sucks too. Music sucks, rest of the game even with good writing kinda sucks. If, if the visual sucks, but the writing is good and the music is good, that's, that's a great game. If the music sucks and the writing is good, it can get, in a way, good, but it does kinda have a problem. But with this game... Music sucks, writing sucks, visuals sucks, idea sucks, the goddamn gr graphics is a little visual, same thing, sucks. I, I'm not trying to hate on it, I'm, co I'm coming out as a person who's trying to explain why you guys make games like these. They don't benefit anybody, they just push an agenda that look I'm gay, I'm making flashy shit, inclusivity is good, and blah 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 what the hell are you thinking people are gonna play this is this what you really want for us to speak about it I'm not trying to make any spoilers here because I did see the ending of the game and I saw some of the moves over there cancel and the uh, trigger warning what the hell are you thinking when you're making that it's I know you know it would be funny if this was game self-aware like, you know, when the games can be sometimes uh, making joke out of themselves. That shit is not... It's for real, they're trying to push that shit, on you? So, I was just baffled at the way how they forgot about the ability of making good games, especially from that studio, and considering that studio was funded by European Union, where I'm from, so some of my money most likely went into that. Which is crazy, I would never allow that, because I was growing out in 2000s and I played games like Fallout 1, 2, 3, uh, I played uh, Call of Duty 1 and 2, I don't like others by the way, just 1 and 2. Uh, I played the Battle of Honor games, I played the Army of 2 and plenty other fucking Galo, Galo I mean Halo games. It's just, it's so weird to see the gaming industry to switch into this weird move. But now let's let's move to another game. It's Concord, made by Sony as well. This is an interesting piece because it has inclusivity, it has Overwatch theme, and it's literally carbon copy of the same thing. So they took idea from Overwatch, since Overwatch is kind of suffering right now due to bad backlash, since it's a trash game, and they just made their own uh, new Overwatch. Right. I was always thinking, who the hell in those offices are operating the teams? Why are you making something like that? You can look at the market, you can look at what people really want. It's story driven, rich, musically talented, beautiful stories. Now nah, let's fucking make a goddamn stupid ass, uh, uh, what do you kind of say, game, f game as a service bullshit with skins so people can just shoot each other and measure their little transgender penises if they're good or bad. Yeah, 
That's literally what this game speaks to me when I look at it. It's it has no no soul, it has no merit, it has nothing behind it except just disgrace. Now let's go back to whatever else there is on the market and let's talk about video game developers from today. You know, you need to remember back in the day when the guys and girls in their offices between friends would just gather up and be like Let's make a game. Let's make Quake. Let's make that. Let's make this. Let's make Sims. Let's make that. And this and that. And what's happening now? How come those guys were normal? How come all of them were decent? And if they had something between them, they didn't go show everybody and paint their colors red and green their hair. They were just showing themselves to, you know, I like making games. I want a good game to play. I want to play that game myself. What is happening right now with our games and our developers? Why is why is every studio has that blue-haired, pink-wearing man with a skirt or woman with a you know male you know looks that she's pretending to be a man, and then they're pushing their own inclusivity agendas like oh, we gotta be you know making everybody see what we're doing and you know our power we are two people too yeah you're people but but you know you have to understand that <laughs> you know the normal us normals imagine we have to say that now like you used to say we're gay we're different before but now you're forcing us to say we're normal so you're different this is what's happening uh, this is gay agenda is ruining video games, it's ruining music, it's ruining films, it's ruining art, it's ruining fucking everything because it's no longer about art, it's all about, oh, look, I'm different. Yeah. No one cares about you being different. You're disgusting, actually. You're, you're, there's nothing behind you that can be considered worthy. Let me tell you this. I'm not saying that everyone who has the gay is bad. I'm not. I'm actually speaking about specifically you people that are not pushing your talents and your respect on you by your work. Because there's people like Elton John, there's Gandalf, actor. Those how can you hate them? They're talented. They have something of their own. You respect them as people, as men. For what they did ha huh. think about it right like you can't really hate them but then again we come to these let's say video game developers with pink hairs and everything who make video games these days how can you like them because they're ruining your shit i can listen to elton john's song and be happy they're pretty cool actually <laughs> guess what i'm not gay but when i look at games like dust bowl concord and flintlock and some other shit I just want to shut it off and get rid of my system. I just don't want to see something like that. It's disgusting. Anyway, this was a great conversation with you, my viewer. And I'm looking forward to think, talk and think more in the long run since I survived an operation. And I can continue yapping on the internet. So leave a comment, like, dislike. I really would like to know what you're thinking with this topic. See you in the next video.